Welcome to the AFR Saints channel, where we provide you daily content on your favorite team, the New Orleans Saints. Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to leave your comments below and smash that like button. Who that? So the NFL owners meetings are going on right now. Uh, the coaches are always there. Coaches, GMs, owners are always at the NFL owners meetings. And they usually have the, the gaggle of reporters at breakfast around. Uh, to Each coach has their own table, like at breakfast, and then the reporters get to go talk to all the coaches. And so Dennis Allen was there, and the, the Saints media covered a bevy of topics with Dennis Allen, including the Deshaun Watson pursuit, but namely having Jameis now, having gone through the Deshaun Watson pursuit. Uh, let's start with... Dennis Allen's thoughts on how Jameis handled the team pursuing Deshaun Watson. Jameis was great, and and, and Jameis understands how how our business operates, um, and and uh, he was great during the whole process. He and I had a couple of uh, of of good, you know, call it tough conversations, and uh, uh, I thought it was a good process. There are some people who have pushed and said. No, did, did you upset Jameis? Did you offend him? Was it a knock to him? And I don't care if it was. I like Jameis. Y'all know that. Like, I've been a supporter of bringing Jameis on and what he could be. I'm for all that. But as an NFL franchise, you need to try to get better every single year at every single position. And if you have a chance to bring in someone you, that's going to make your team better, you do it. It's a business. You try to do things tactfully and tastefully. But it's a business. So I'm not worried if they hurt Jameis's feelings. It's on him to go prove he deserves the job. He's got it now. Go go prove it. It also matters who he's throwing the football to. And a lot of people have asked about receivers. Here's Dennis Allen's thoughts on his wide receiver room. I think it's still a position that we want to try to add to. But we certainly feel good about being able to get Traquan Smith back, having Deontay Hardy, having Mike Thomas come back. So we feel we feel good about the position. Uh, but yet it's still a position that I think we want to try to add to. They absolutely have to add because just think about, I, and I've said it before, they're better now than they were last year because you have Mike Thomas coming back. But two years ago, you had Thomas and you had Emmanuel Sanders. You don't have a number two. I like Marquez Callaway. I like Deontay Hardy. I don't like Traquan Smith at all. I hope he goes away. But with Thomas, Callaway, Hardy, you do have a big drop off from one to two and three right now. You need to fill that gap. You need a number two. You need a legit number two to complement Mike Thomas. Whether you get that in free agency or in the draft remains to be seen, but you're better now than you were a year ago because Thomas is healthy. You still need a number two, and they recognize that, but it's not nearly as dire as it was a year ago. So with that in mind, what is Dennis Allen looking at with this round of free agency? I think we've done a pretty decent job you know, in terms of, of this offseason of trying to fill a few spots. Certainly, the quarterback must is always the biggest one that you've got to you got to make sure that you feel we feel good about where we're at there. And there's still a couple of things you know on the roster that I think we want to be able to do, and and we're going to take our time in doing that. I've found that, and we found as an organization that usually our best moves are are usually not the ones that that everybody wants to write about and and talk about and and tweet about or whatever. Our best moves are going and getting a a guy like a Demario Davis that wasn't like this splash signing, but fits our culture, fits a specific need that we have, and and has a he's the type of player or the type of personality that we're looking for, and it just becomes a good fit, and they have success. And so, um, I think that's what we're continuing to do. He's so right. We talk about that splash free agency at the beginning every year. We all want to talk about the big names and the big contracts. We want to talk about Von Miller going to Buffalo. We want to talk about Tyree Kill going to Miami. I mean, I know there's a trade, but like we want to talk about that. We want to talk about Russ Wilson getting traded to Denver. But he's right. The core of your team isn't made up with that one big free agent acquisition. That could be the finishing touch, and sometimes it's a necessity. But this is what the Saints do every year. They're always super aggressive from jump with that one big ticket item. And then they let the market settle. And then they go bargain shopping with guys that get at a great value that fit their culture. Demario Davis was a great example of that. 
but he's just one example of many that they've been able to bring in. You can go all the way back to the very beginning of the Peyton Breeze era, Loomis era, when they brought in Scott Shanley with a, with a, with a trade in free agency. It was very similar in that respect. Like, they, they want guys that fit the culture, that want to be here, and they find them, and they're going to continue to do that. So there's, there's positions they have to address. Look, they had to go get a safety to replace Marcus Williams. They did. They got Marcus May, a great player coming off an injury, but at, at a more palatable price that they were willing to pay. They got to address left tackle, however they're going to do it. They, if it's moving Ramchick, then you got to address right tackle. If it's going to be the draft, free agency, they got to address it. I still think they need to address tight end. They need running back. Like There's spots they got to address, but they could address it in the draft. Here was Dennis Allen's thoughts on the upcoming draft. Everybody wants to kind of compare this draft to other drafts and, and where is it deep, where is it not deep. You know, the honest to God's truth is you're not going to know until three years from now really how how good it was because it's not until they get in and, and, and start playing that you kind of realize exactly what, what you have. So I do know that I feel like the numbers are maybe a little bit more and and I feel like really you're probably looking at at you know some guys maybe in years past that might have been you know late round draft choice that that might be you know available as as college free agents. Um he's right. You typically don't know about a class until years down the line unless it's 2017 and you have guys like Kamara and Trey Hendrickson and that whole class in 2017 splash right from jump. Marshawn Lattimore, Ryan Ramchick, that happens. And I don't think this entire draft class is going to have to be that for the Saints team because they are a good, deep, talented roster. I mean, they were a winning roster last year, even with all the injuries and defections and everything. But there are positions that they need to address in this draft with guys that are going to be immediate contributors. Look, they we didn't know it at the time, but they needed Paulson Adebo to be a starter. Right, I mean, I know they went and acquired Bradley Roby in case, but they needed Paulson Adebo to emerge in the role he did. Year one rookie. We didn't know it at the time, but Quan gets hurt. They needed Pete Warner to be ready to be a starter, and he was for that window when Quan was hurt. There's going to be guys in this draft class that's the same thing. Probably a receiver, probably an offensive lineman, but that's coming as well. Either way, I think this team has really positioned its, itself nicely heading into this free agent, uh, into the second wave of free agency and into this draft. I, I'm going to continue to harp on it. I, I have a feeling it's going to be a mantra you hear me say a lot. Ella, like The Saints right now are a better team right now than they were week 18. And they're only going to get better as they have Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.